driving out 10 miles away from home, uh, more like 15. I'm on the hunt for LCD crap. Um, word is, according to Gary12GG, uh, that a good place to find this kind of crap is at Walgreens. Uh, and fortunately, the nearest Walgreens is 15 miles away from my house. So, I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for crap. Well, we're here at Walgreens, finally. But, you know, this just seems really weird. I mean, I wouldn't think to come to Walgreens for what I'm looking for. I mean, the first place that come to my mind are places like Walmart and, uh, maybe like a dollar store and Walgreens. I don't know, this is supposed to be a good place to find this stuff. Well, let's go inside. Haha, <laughs> jackpot. Thanks, Walgreens. Oh boy, these are even worse than I thought, especially after getting home and fiddling around with them. First thing I want to show off that I got is uh, the Pro Skater's handheld LCD game. It's uh, the ultimate skateboarding video game. Okay, I would hope an LCD game is not the ultimate skateboarding video game. What about games like Tony Hawk and Skate for the Xbox 360 and PS3 and stuff like that? Now, it says it's starring Pro Skater Rodney Stone. Now, first of all, it never shows his face. So I, I really doubt people who made this game actually well got the license to put him on it. I bet he doesn't even know he's on here. And once you see the game, you you can see it'll just be any other skater. Look at that. Those. Oh my God. I did not look at this in detail before, but I just realized something. These screenshots are. Well, they lie. They lie big time. And I'm about to show you. So what the hell is this thing? Well. First of all, if you're wondering who it's made by, it's Tronica, whatever the hell that is. Alright, and let me get out the instructions, too. Alright, so here's the instructions we're looking at here. Okay, batteries are already in it. Oh, shit, I don't want this side. Okay, all it tells you, oh, it's important, please read. Okay. Uh, it's not ages five and up, apparently, it's five and up ages. So, Ollie is just pull the trigger in the back. Kick flip is pull trigger plus left joystick. Grind is pull trigger plus forward joystick. And 360 is pull trigger plus, bleh, plus back joystick. Boy, I don't even know what a skateboard, and I know doing a 360 is not as simple as pushing on the tail of the board. Uh, see, there, that's what the graphics really look like. So, the box lies badly. Basically, for each obstacle you come across, you have to do a certain trick. Uh, you can't... Uh, well, in some cases you can, but for the most part, certain obstacles you have to do certain tricks. It's required. It's kind of like uh, the game Dragon's Lair, where um, it's not really an action game, but rather you have to do the right move at the right time. So, you got to be the kind of person who really likes that stuff. Which I'm not. So, let's go ahead... First, let me refocus, and then I will turn it on. Okay, there we go. Of course, you know I have to turn the camera off and back on. <sighs> All I want for Christmas is a new camera. Alright, right then. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And the generic rock music starts right away. So, what are we looking at here? You're looking at a plastic... Shut up. We're looking at a plastic skateboard that acts as your joystick. Oh, for the love of God, shut up! Uh, the instructions say, like, oh, if you want, you could put your fingers on... You could put your fingers on it and use it, uh, like a real fingerboard. Yay, how realistic. <sighs> yeah, and the graphics are just horrible. Uh, I... Oh, God, shut up. Just start. You have to watch that every time you start. You kind of, like, press down on the whole thing to start. Okay, level one. Ramp. You have to kickflip. Kickflip. See, it doesn't work. I know what you're thinking. Like, oh, I could probably do it if I try. No, you can't. The only one that works is the Ollie. Because that's just pulling the trigger. I bet this thing is broken. Because it sticks out of the package. See? I press trigger and up. Trigger and up is grind. And try doing it as early as you want. It still won't work. Watch. Kickflip. Ready? Still doesn't work. I'll give it one last chance. Okay. I got three bails, so game over. I'll give it one more chance. Come on. I'm giving you one more chance. Take it. This is so crappy. I can never get past level one. It's impossible. The joystick does not work. Okay, kickflip. Kickflip. No, you idiot. Ugh. 
It just doesn't work. Alright, Ollie. I, I, uh, yay, yay. Okay, I got one life left. Alright, let's grind. Whoa, I got it. Okay. Hold on. Grind! Yeah, it says it right there. Alright, kickflip. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So, it's selective. It's selective about when it wants to work. <sighs> Next piece of crap. <sighs> After refocusing, of course. Right then. The other thing I got brand is Vivitar. It's a 3-in-1 digital camera. One of the most compact ones ever. Um, suggested retail price of $40. Wow! Only $10! That should be the suggested retail price. That's about all this is worth. You're about to see why. Uh, okay, it mentions it comes with an accessory kit. This accessory kit is nothing more than a carrying case that is nothing more than a pleather sleeve. And a USB cable, and it came with a AAA battery, which is already in the camera. And it comes with uh, some ArcSoft photo impression software, which is actually the same software that I got in my very first digital camera four years ago. <sighs> this isn't an outdated camera either. It mentions Vista. So this isn't like old. This is stuff they still make. Here's the camera. We'll get back to that. Here's the software and manuals. Oh god, the manuals are a joke. Here's... Oh, I'll get to that. USB cable. I'll leave it in there. Okay, here's the carrying case. It it feels so cheap. Like, I feel like if I started going like this, I could rip it in half. Um, I didn't even see if, how well this fits in here yet. It doesn't fit. Get in there, you piece of shit. And look, with the clip in the way, it, it Velcro's mad crooked, so it looks like you have a retarded camera. Terrible. Now you're probably thinking, okay, compact digital camera. That's, you know, that's kind of cool. This would have been cool about five years ago. Because, like I said, I paid $10 for it. That's about how much it costs to manufacture a camera for a cell phone. And that's why I'm saying, what's the point of still manufacturing these? Go ahead and try to find a cell phone that's with someone with a contract, you know, like Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, something like that. Try to find a contract phone that doesn't have a camera built into it. I freaking dare you. Well, here's the camera. Yeah, it's small, but that means it's going to take small as hell pictures, and it does. So here's the little viewfinder. The viewfinder's also a joke, because the closer you get to it, it actually makes it blurry. So the viewfinder only works if it's far away from your eyes. It doesn't make any sense. So, screw that then. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Okay, this is where it really takes a turn for the worse. Let me show you. Okay, here's the owner's manual. And, of course, it's a fold-out one. Okay, gives you all the specs. The resolution's about 350 by 280, which means, yes, it sucks. Uh, let's see here. You can choose between compressed and non-compressed shots. If you do low resolution, which is 176 by 174, and have it compressed, you could take about 250 pictures. It's got 16 megabytes of memory on it. Wow, that's a lot of memory. Again, about five years ago it was. Right then. It tells about all the different modes. It has self-timer mode, continuous shot mode, AVI function mode, let's just call it movie mode. It's got some pretty bad English in here, actually. Uh, where, see, of course, when I look at it again on camera, I can't uh, find the ones find the bad English I was looking at. Um, shows old-ass computer screenshots. Uh, what is it I wanted to point out in here? Oh, yeah. When you press the mode button, you get really weird abbreviations. And, of course, the mode button, I mean, the mode screen is on the front of the camera. It doesn't make sense. It should be back here where the picture taker can see what mode they're in. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, every time you press mode, it, you can see it's nothing more than a two-digit LCD screen. Uh, every time you press mode, the letters change. Now it says O F C E A I. That's movie mode. S E C L C A L R N P F six. You know, 
this, you would think, like, oh, this is a good gift for my mom or my grandma or something. No, because I can't even, I don't even have the patience to memorize all these stupid codes. At least have one more digit and make it a little bit more easier. Like, for AVI, you'd be able to put AVI instead of AI. <sighs> okay, I'm just ranting here. The point is, it's hard to tell what mode you're in when you're in it. Um, there's the picture taking button right there, how glorious. <sighs> but I've said all I can about the camera itself. Let's go ahead and look at the actual pictures it takes. First of all, look at the splash screen that comes up when you put in the CD. Memories with your joys? What the hell does that mean? Anyway, here are the pictures that the camera takes, and I swear these aren't altered in any way with like any pastel filter or anything. What you see is what the camera really takes. And this is a movie clip from the camera. Uh, bottom line, don't buy it.